Today on Tricro Studios, we take a look at the Jackson Rhodes JS32 FSR. So you're going to get four sound samples through four different amps with four different drop tunings. Uh, then after those four sound samples, I'm going to talk a little bit about the guitar, my plans for the guitar, um, how it actually feels, and kind of how you compare it to perhaps an X-Series Rhodes. <laughs>
So those are the sound samples. I really hope you enjoyed them. So let's talk a little bit about this guitar. Try and do it quickly. So basically, this is uh, like an unfinished body. Um, and the JS series for Jackson, because of the way that they do their neck, um, the kind of reinforcement that they have in their neck, these are actually really good guitars if you plan on modding them and taking care of them a little bit. Um, I do have to say, with the kind of oiled finish, which is, I don't really know if it's oiled, uh, but it kind of feels like it's a, a 3D printed uh, body here. It may or may not make any sense, but when you touch here, it, just, it feels 3D printed. Um, the tuners, again, just like any of the other JS series, they're thinner than the regular tuners. These ones feel extremely thin and flimsy. Uh, the bridge really hurts my head because the saddles that are on it are going different ways. Um, pickups are your regular run-of-the-mill Jackson high perf or high gain or high powered pickups. So the same ones that come in like the X series models or what have you, um, easily replaceable. The pick guard here um, I would like to replace because it is kind of thin and flimsy but it's all right. The frets are a little scratchy, which is not a problem because you can just polish them with some steel wool and perhaps a polishing kit. It's an amaranth fretboard, which I always liken it to, it feels like dry rosewood. Still fine. Um, seems like it'll be a good guitar, but I do have to make some adjustments to it, some upgrades. So basically, uh, I already ordered a Locking Tone Pearls bridge uh, the gold bridge plate, or whatever you want to call it here, uh, when you remove the string ferrules. Um, gold spurzels, and as well a set of gold DiMarzio Titans. So keep an eye open for those upgrades in a further video. Now, the other question here, how does it compare to, like, say, an X-Series Rhodes guitar? First off, this is a hell of a lot lighter than this one. Um, obviously, you have a gloss finish here. I would like to somehow get a gloss finish on here, and you can get like rub-on gloss, but my skills with any type of woodworking or what have you is non-existent. Um, but yeah, it's you can definitely tell that there's a difference, um, not only in feel, but in weight. This just feels so light, and... I don't know, um, we'll have to kind of get a, a better gauge on things once I actually get the upgrades in. But, I mean, it definitely has potential. Um, if you're starting out, this is a great one to go with. The FSR, by the way, means Fender Special Run, so that's why it's in kind of the Unfinished Natural. Um, but it definitely has some potential, and if you're just starting out, it's a great guitar to go with.